Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to recreate the telekinesis mechanic from Control. We're going to make the mechanic of picking and throwing objects with rigid bodies. Let's get started. I've already set up basic first person controller. If you want one, you can check the Godot documentation page for that. It's a great starting point. It has a simple capsule shape for the body and a rectangular shape for the feet and a pivot point for the camera. Under the pivot point, I've added a raycast pointing towards minus Z. It'll be used to detect an object in front of us. I've also added a position 3D node used to position the grabbed object. The camera and movement code is the one found in the Godot tutorial. We need to add a few actions to be able to control the character. So under project, settings, input map, add move forward, move back, strafe left, strafe right for the movement. Use whatever keys you want. Add two more actions, pick and throw, for which I've used respectively a mouse right click and left click. Finally, add a restart key just for convenience. Next, we're going to create the throwable object scene. I'm using a pawn model, but you can use whatever you want. I'm switching the root node to a rigid body with a mass of 5. To create a collision shape fast, I'm using the create simple convex collision sibling button from the mesh. We'll work on the script later. Finally, create a main scene. I'm using a CSG box with collision enabled and invert faces as a test room. I can now instantiate both the players and the poke. If we run the scene now, we can see that the player is able to move and push the rigid bodies. We'll now work on the throwable object script. We'll declare three variables first, the first one to keep track of our original parent and the last two to remember our collision layer and mask. This is useful for when we'll disable physics. We add a variable picked up by to keep track of who is holding the object. Create the function pickup used to pick up the object. We need to add the variable original transform used to keep track of the transform before reparenting. We first make sure we are not picked up by the same parent, otherwise we return. Then, if we are already picked up, we can call let go. We'll create this function later. We keep track of who is picking us up and also of our transform before changing parent. We disable physics by changing the mode to static and removing the collision layer. Then, we reparent ourselves to the new parent and use the transform we just remember. Now we can create let go. This function takes an impulse, which is all zeros by default. In this function, we do the opposite of pickup. We reparent to the original parent turn on physics again and finally apply the impulse to be ejected. Because we want the object to fly towards us when we are picking it up, we'll add a few things to physics process. First, we return if the object is not picked up, but if we are, we lerp our origin from the original origin to the picked up location. This will result in a smooth movement towards the picked up location. Now in the player script, we add three variables. Row force is used for the impulse on the object. Picked up keeps track of what object is currently held, and collider is the object colliding with the raycast if there's one. At the end of the physics process, we add a check to see if the raycast is lighting and if he is we get the collider next if we're firing the pick action we first make sure we don't have a collider from the raycast this is the case where we are not looking at an object directly next we get the bodies overlapping the area. We are going to loop through all these bodies and find the closest one. We make sure to have found one and call pick up on it. In case we are looking directly at an object, things are a bit simpler. We simply make sure it can be picked up and we call pick up on it. Finally, if we are firing the throw actions, we want to make sure we have something to throw and then call let go with the desired impulse. We are using minus pickup point dot global transform dot basis dot z to launch the object in the z direction of the pick point. If we take a look at our pick point, we can clearly see that the object needs to go in the minus z direction. And that's why we're using the basis of the pick point. Now we have everything we need, so we can launch the scene and test it out. We can grab the objects we are looking at or grab the closest object otherwise. And then we can throw it. I hope you find this interesting. Don't hesitate to share your project with me if you're doing something with this. You can add me on Twitter or in the comments below. You'll find all the sources on my GitHub, link in the description. If you have any suggestion on how I'm presenting these tutorials, please tell me. Also, if you want me to recreate a particular mechanic, I'd be glad to try. I'm thinking of recreating the tree chopping from Valheim for next week. What do you think? Thank you for watching, see you later, bye!